Hello, and welcome to today's tips, tricks, and best practices for Microsoft Dynamics CRM users. Today's topic is how to create data mapping. Many of you may be wondering, what's data mapping? And why would I want to create a data mapping? Those are excellent questions. Data mapping is simply a fancy way of saying taking data from one field in one record and moving it to a field in another record. Now, one thing to note with this would be if you're taking a lead and you're qualifying it into an opportunity, that's where data mapping would come into place. You're taking a field from the lead entity with data already inputted, and you're copying that data when the opportunity is created, and you're putting it into the opportunity field. Now, you must have the same field on each entity and the new record must be created from the previous record. And what that means is when you qualify a lead, it automatically creates an opportunity from that lead. Same thing in an account. When you're in the account field and you do add new contact, you're adding a new contact for that account. So that way you're creating the contact record from the account record. So you can copy the information into the new record and those fields. However, if you just went into contact and added a new contact, since you're not creating it from a record, it has nothing to look back to to grab that field information from. So that's the most important piece. You want to make sure that you're creating the new record from an existing record in a different entity. That way the information will pull over. Now why is this important? The reason data mapping is so important is because it creates time saving and efficiencies. All of you that are working in CRM have immensely busy days. And the last thing you want to do is type in the same information into a new field in a new record that you've already entered once. That's where data mapping comes into play. If you're in a lead and you're typing in information and you qualify that lead going, all right, I want to move forward, I want to sell them an opportunity here. All that information that you gathered within the lead field, you don't want to have to retype in the opportunity field. So data mapping will take those fields and map them, map that data into the opportunity with the exact same fields. Very, very important though, is that the fields on each record must be the exact same field type, meaning they must both be multi-lines, single line text, whole numbers, option sets, they must match. And then there's certain qualifiers under like whole number. Whole number has a minimum and maximum that it can be between. Those must be exactly the same on the different records, on the different fields, excuse me. That way, when you're mapping the data over to the exact same fields, there's going to be no issue transferring the data. Now let's jump into CRM and I'll show you exactly how easy it is to create a data mapping. Now keep in mind you want to set those fields up before you ever go after the data mapping. So from our drop down to create a data mapping we're going to go to our drop down, settings, customizations. And then we're going to click on customize the system once this finishes loading. Click on customize the system. And this will bring up our entire system and the different customizations that we can make. What we're looking at here is a one-to-many relationship. That is where data mappings exist. And a one-to-many relationship simply means there's one record, so like one account, that can have many contacts. Okay? For our scenario today, we're looking at the lead to lead to opportunity qualification. So when a lead is qualified, it creates an opportunity. That's where we're going to create our data mapping. You're going to create this data mapping off of the source entity. So the source entity is lead because it's creating the opportunity. So we're going to click on our little drop down arrow next to entities. Then we're going to do the same thing next to lead. Then we're going to click on one to n relationships. That simply means one to many. 
Now this will bring up all the one-to-many relationships that exist where lead is the source. Now we're going to sort our related entities and we're going to look for opportunity. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to double click on the related entity opportunity. Now mappings is where we want to focus. So we're going to click on mappings, which is our data mappings. Now the most important thing here is before you even create the data mapping, you want to make sure that your lead field and your opportunity field are not already being used in, ex in an existing mapping. Because if they are, you're not going to be able to create a new mapping because they're already being used once. Your information is going to be overwritten. So in source display name, if we sort it, I don't see critical pain point, And that's the one that we're going to be creating a data mapping for. Same thing with target display name, no critical pain point. So we're going to click on new. And this will bring up our field mapping section. Now in the left hand side, which is your source, so this will be your lead field. We're going to scroll over to display name and we're going to sort our display name. It makes it easier to find our critical pain point field. Scroll back over and scroll down and find critical pain points. Right here. We're going to check mark it. Now very important here, type and size, multiple lines of text. We want to make sure that is the exact same in our target entity field. So over in target entity, we're going to sort our display name, find critical pain points right here, and multiple lines of text. So multiple lines of text, multiple lines of text. If they match, we're ready to create our data mapping. We've checkmarked each, and now we're just going to click OK. Now to do the creating the field mapping. Now, if we look in our source display name, there's critical pain points. So now we've created our data mapping. We're going to click on Save and Close. And always, most importantly, you want to publish anything that you do within customizations. So we're going to publish the system. Once this finishes publishing, we're going to jump into a lead. And we're going to qualify that lead. And I'm going to show you how the critical pain points within lead automatically go over to the new opportunity. So we're going to close out our customizations. Back in CRM here, we're going to go to sales. We're going to go to leads. We're going to take a look at Tom Truck. That's our lead. And in his critical pain point, we see that his current widget provider is overpriced. So we've gained this information already in our lead in our discussion while he's a lead. Now we determine, hey, it's overpriced. We want to move this to an opportunity because we want to see if we can beat this price. So let's qualify this. So click on Qualify. And what this will do is it will qualify the lead, and then it's creating an account, a contact, and an opportunity. Now the new opportunity that's created, we can see right here our critical pain point came over. Current widget provider is overpriced. We didn't have to type in any other information. It automatically pulled over. As did the topic, the contact's name, because we created a new contact. So that's what's so great about data mapping. A lot of the information that we had when we were talking to the customer while they were a lead to determine if they're worth their quality lead moved over to the opportunity when we're ready to sell to them, created a lot of savings. And you can do this for any field in lead that matches an opportunity. And you could do this across many different entities. And it's a really great time saver. That's our topic today on how to create data mapping. Are you ready to learn more? Additional tips, resources, and information can always be found at ledgeviewpartners.com. Do you want to contact Ledgeview Partners? Simply contact us at the email and phone number listed on the screen. My name is Michael Dodds. I'm a CRM support consultant here at Ledview Partners, and I hope you have a wonderful day.